Hey guys, and welcome back to Wild Season. It's time to cast the controller on over once again. Last time, the only really significant thing that happened, as far as I can recall, is first off, Jessica mightily dumped us. Friendship dumping complete. Let me out. Well, I was just trying to check the calendar to see if we missed the Firefly Festival, which we agreed to be agreed to let be held on our farm. But I do not recall if we missed it or not. Because I've been sleeping in search of plot. I think that that might have been what we left off with, was agreeing to that. Hmm. By the way, we could just sleep for more plot. It usually wakes us up when stuff can happen, but at the same time, I don't think it would. Bert, let me out. Come on, game. I don't think it would do that for the sake of a festival, but did the festival already happen? Give me just a second. Alright, with awesomeness, I have checked. It is tomorrow night. We have not missed the Firefly Festival. But since nothing else happened this morning, certainly still no more explanations about how Jessica just ditched us, which still bothers me. She was the one person in town who liked us, kind of. I said something about our phone waking us up, and now nothing is... Okay, that was the text scroll sound, but it's not... Ah, there we go. It's Darius? Hey Cass, it's me! He seems a lot happier than you thought he'd be. Hey, so I heard May is something about your farm hosting some Firefly Fest or whatever at your farm tomorrow. It's a bit repetitive and redundant. Is that true? That's, man, that's fantastic. I'm on my lunch break. Think you can run over real quick? Pretty sure I figured out what our next course of action should be. I know, way sooner than we thought, but I really... You can? Great. See you in a few minutes, then. As if this day wasn't already weird enough. <laughs> we decide to go ahead and go to the clinic. Let's humor the crazy doctor, just in case we get hurt. Alright, alright. So I'm not gonna lie. I took myself up on that offer of going out drinking last night. Oh, Darius. Sorry I didn't invite you. Seriously, I'm a terrible drunk, slobber all over myself. Usually express unrequited love to complete strangers. Not exactly pleasant company. Darius, please. The town has enough rumors about us enough without us getting drunk together. I'm certain. <laughs> anyway, while stumbling home, I got an idea. Just gonna tell you outright, but hear me out afterwards, alright? I want to break into Dr. Hayes' house tomorrow night. His eyes are even sparkly. Wow, this is, this is, Darius, the doctor is, any doctor, but especially the doctor of a small town, is supposed to be a steadfast pillar of support and rationality and not this. Exclamation point. You know the house kind of by the kid's place to your left if you're heading away from the square? Ends up that used to be Dr. Hayes' house. Or rather, it still is Dr. Hayes' house. Took a look through the windows a season or two back. I had never seen any lights on there, and lo and behold, the place used to be hers. Everything's still in there, just covered by a bunch of sheets. Like ghosts. Or body bags. <sighs> we break in. She's just in there, old. Oh, I lost my keys. I'm stuck in here. Actually, the whole reason I even figured out Dr. Hayes disappeared was because I started asking questions about the house. I mean, my farm wasn't supposed to get sold. They just have lots of plots of, of land and homes that people just don't live in and we don't know where they are. There's just nobody there now. That's okay. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Shh, 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 shh. Just attend a festival, eat some food, and go on your merry way. There's nothing weird in Bedford. What? I wanted to know why they put me in some one-bedroom apartment above my freaking work when there was a perfectly good house just down the road. Seriously, Darius. 
Really, man? Really? Anyway, the house has apparently just been sitting there for seasons now, with all her stuff inside. Potentially untouched, other than some light cleaning and a few white sheets. Not expecting to find dried blood or anything if there was. It sure was... If it, if or anything, if there was, it surely was cleaned up before the damn police arrived. Maybe she had any reason to believe something was up. She might have left something in there saying so. Something someone would have looked over. I don't know, a diary or something. We've made no progress with anyone living around here. Okay, let's go to the graveyard, dig up a body, and ask it questions. Why not ask the one person who has no reason to lie? Dr. Hayes herself. As if. She's the one who went poof. Missing. Vanished. Gone. She has a reason to lie. She discovered something nobody else was supposed to. Or something. Or she was part of it. Look, I know it's a little bit out of our comfort zone breaking into a person's place. It occurs to me that the only thing keeping them from his entire apartment being bugged and probably our farm as well, is the fact that technology, for whatever reason, doesn't really work in Bedford. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Rosalind would have all the houses bugged. She has keys for all of them, which still disturbs me. But man, as I said before, if I were missing, I'd want someone to go look for me, even if that meant, even if that meant going through my... Why can I not talk anymore? Uh, so much dialogue. Uh, even if that meant going through my personal stuff, you know? If I go missing, stay out of my fabric. Do not go inside my bookshelf. I do not keep a diary. Do not bother looking for it. If I was going to hide anything anywhere, there is a secret compartment in my sewing machine used for needles. And that is where I'd leave a note because nobody sews with sewing machines anymore unless they're 80 or me. He's right that the town has put up a wall that neither of you will be able to get past without a new approach. But at the same time, do you want them to do you want to give them a reason to arrest you and force you both out of town that way? Breaking into a possibly deceased woman's house would certainly be cause for that. I do not support this. But unless you've got another idea that doesn't involve us dropping the thing altogether, it's what I gotta do. I don't think I can explain it right, but after leaving a life of constant struggle, I wanted a little peace, and well, if finding out what happened to Dr. Hayes gives me that, then I'm going for it. You realize that if you did just drop it, the town would probably be more than happy to accept you, eventually, unlike me. Because they brought you into the town, and obviously intended to accept you eventually, you could get your peace and quiet if you stopped, well, I don't know, lamenting the fact that you have a one-bedroom apartment? I'm sorry. This place looks really freaking huge and empty. Do you need a house? Unless and if you get married and want kids, sure, house. Look into the house. But as of right now, look at all of this empty space. Look here, here. Here, there's this stuff and this stuff. That is the size of a couch right there, and that's the size of a person. Look at this. Between, you could lay two, maybe three people between his dining room table and his kitchen. Just this space alone. And then that, four to five to his desk, and don't even get me started on all of this. He has plenty of space. I guess that you don't want to be part of it, though. Don't worry about it. Once I take a good look around, I'll tell you what I found, right? You're not sure if it'd be a good idea to allow Darius to break into the house alone. Even if you're present on your farm tomorrow during the Firefly Festival, you'll most likely be held accountable if he is caught. You hesitantly decide to accompany Darius to the house tomorrow night? No! No! I wanted to go to the festival! I... Game? Do not make my decisions for me! Yeah, Darius, apparently I'm going to come. Because that's what the game needs me to do. I uh, uh, don't ever make a decision for me, game. Thanks, Cass. It means a lot that you trust me about this, even though you don't know if it's a good idea. Really, thanks. 
All right, the plan tomorrow is pretty. The plan tomorrow is pretty simple for the most part. Stick around the farm until the festival is fully underway. Sneak out when you can and meet me. I'll already be there, all right? Do you know where her house is? It's in the residential district by the where the kids and Gavin live. Uh, north of the Holtz farm and south of the port. One story brown kind of bungalow. So I'll see you tomorrow night. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Let's get back to work. Later. He's gonna get me arrested. We're breaking into Dr. Hayes' house tomorrow with Darius. For now though, it's best to focus on your work. So I'm not advocating this at all. But I, I gotta say, if I was trying to get accepted by the town and drop it, I would kind of go to Roslyn right now and tell her about what he's planning to do. Quickest and easiest way to get me in their good graces would absolutely be selling out the doctor. Are you trying to talk to me, dude? What are you doing? Why'd you run to my door and run away? Come here. Good afternoon. No, 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 no. You're the one who... Okay. Dude, dude, seriously? Nice day to go chop some lumber, eh? What, what, why are you pacing my farm? My abandoned because screw it farm. I'm only here for plot now. I, I, none of this stuff is working, so why bother with farming? Tonight's the Firefly Festival. It starts when your farm at 7. The whole town will be there, and while they're here, you and Darius are going to try to break into Dr. Hayes' house to see if she or anyone else left any clues as to how or why she disappeared. Hopefully tonight you can get some answers. Hopefully tonight we don't get arrested. So, that does raise a valid thought. Who's the police force in this town? If it's a small enough town to have a mayor, it should have some sort of chief of police level guy. At least, like, a little shack with a police presence. But I can't think of anybody. We have a doctor, a church, general store, clock tower, fountain with a lion's face. Yeah. We even have, like, an inn and a festival area. But, uh... Oh, hey, it looks like that finally resolved itself. Fantastic. Hello. Or not. Hello! Hi! Come on, talk to me more. Okay. Port. Oh, these are all the kids going to school. Is that actually a backpack? Nope, that's April. What is up here? Why can I not go up here? Why do you guys just come here and stand here and vanish? I mean... You never know when you see needs on hand. Morning. Again, I feel like had they had time, there'd be a beep. There'd be a school up here, maybe. But they didn't, so instead they just have the kids stand here and vanish. They just walk into nothingness and vanish for several hours a day. Maybe there's a bus into a city. Mr. Acosta, you in here? Nope. Nowhere to be found. Hmm. For some reason, I was certain that I could go south. Also, for some reason, the music stopped. Oh, it's back. Apparently, the port just does not have music. Let's go check out the house before we're breaking into it. It would be neat, though, if this game did include a Go Tell Rosalind Darius' plan option. Ah, uh, the little bungalow that does not actually have a door. Does this mean this little thing's where we're going? Because this looks like a completely other house. I'm behind it. Oh, hmm, convenient. But then who lives in this shack thing? Hello, Gavin. Can I tell you more about how your aunt's probably terribly, brutally murdered because she went missing? No? I can't ruin your life some more? I mean, I'm only going to be breaking into your aunt's house. Who's maintaining the flowers? And if that is her house and not this one, why is her house smaller than her nephew's? And if his house is so big, why does it look like this? Oh, cool. Is Bedroom's on a whole nother floor because those are steps. That's pretty cool. Is that a mustard stain on his couch? Mm. Welp. I'm gonna skip to when the festival starts. 
We just achieved morbid curiosity by trying to go into the forest too many times. Cause that's right, I am constantly checking to see if the plot is developed in any way that I can go into the forest. I mean, what else to do is I'm trying to kill five in-game hours to get to seven. I could just nap. But that's not easy enough. So this is kind of awesome. If you actually try to sleep, it says, You can't possibly go to sleep with everything that's going down tonight. Would you like to wait until Denise comes to the festival? The thing is, I was trying to save before the festival. But sure, let's wait. I didn't just spend four in-game hours in the mine wasting time. We spent some time waiting for Denise at 5 p.m. Oh yeah. There's someone at the door. You better get it. I wonder who it could be. Oh look. Oh hey, I'm I'm here to set up for the festival. I hope it isn't a bad time. It's not oh good. This is incredibly awkward. I'll go ahead and get started then. Time for their instantaneous festival setup. Despite Denise's near constant protests, you help her set up for the festival. Aww. I told you that you didn't have to help. You've been already been working all day. You should take a break. I didn't, actually. You're right. Who would have thought jar bottles of boxes of jars would be so heavy? If I can't handle this, how can I handle a farm, huh? Don't worry, I'm fine. I mean, this is giving her a perfect opening to say, well, then you can't, so we're gonna go with it. But I also kind of push myself a lot of the time, so I can't exactly talk, huh? Anyway, here, have some water. You received some water from Denise. Who would have thought? I mean, my well is just behind her. It was surprisingly ice cold. You feel refreshed. Your stamina is fully recovered. Oh yeah, booyah. I think everything's done. All that's left to do is wait until everyone gets here. Thank you again for everything, Cass. Everyone in town really appreciates it, and I appreciate it too. Thank you. You're not sure, but you feel a slight friendship forming between you and Denise. Which is nice, considering Jessica just dumped us on our butts. But will it last? Oh! We're remembering Jessica. Anyway, uh, why don't you show me what you've done? You know, around the farm while we wait? Of course she would show up saying stuff like that days after I go ahead and give up on the farm. Maybe I'll go back to watering the stuff. At 6 p.m. Hey. The Firefly Festival is now in full swing. But there's no time to get comfortable. <laughs> You've got a possibly dead person's house to break into with Darius. It could be disastrous, but you feel you have no other choice. Time to figure this out once and for all. I want to talk to everybody first. Everything seems to be a big success so far. Thank you. Would you like a bottle? No? Just stick around, okay? She knows. Oh, Cass, there you are. Denise told us how willing you were to let us use the farm on such short notice. We're so thankful, aren't we, dear? Oh, yes. Amidst all the confusion last season about you moving in, we totally forgot about the festival being held here. I'm not sure we would have moved it to if you said no. Well, dear, I'm not too surprised. Cass seems to be adjusting to how things work here in Bedford Valley. She's just being a good neighbor. Right, Cass? Stick around, won't you, dear? We can't have the hostess leaving her own party, after all. Let me know if you find anything, if you need anything at all. Have fun. Okay. In, why is she leaving? Where is she going? Why are they walking around when I talk to them? Anyway, in reality, I would stay here. I wonder if I can just stay here. Time is passing. I don't want to go break into a house. Why are you just... Um, did she go faceless for a second there? Catch one for me! Catch one for me! I do every year, don't I, Dot? Hmm? Watch the master work. Come here! I missed it! You do that every year, too. At least I can make you laugh, honey. Do they all run away when we talk to them? Aww, do I, are you two together? I ship it. Richard, it's been a while since I've seen you. How have you been? <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been, I... Is everything alright? Mm -hmm. Um, okay... Anyway, I wanted you to have this. What? I love catching them so much that I'm giving one to everyone I love. You you love? Everyone in town, silly. 
Oh. Oh, friend zoned. Worse, town zoned. Adds a whole bunch of zoning law puns. Please enjoy it and add a lot more to it, okay? Okay. Oh, and Rick? Huh? You're getting better at it. What? <laughs> talking to girls. You're awesome. I like you. Okay. Why are you talking when he's gone? I already read this. He's not even he's not even here. If I talk to everyone and pass enough time, can I not break into the house? Miss Controller, hi. Uh, are you having a good night? Me too. Uh -huh. I'm going to catch you the biggest firefly ever, okay, Miss Hunter? That must be the preset name. For you and Sky and Panka and Miss Lily and all the girls, okay? Oh, Donald, you're the cutest. I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm going to not break into our house. I'm going to just wait long enough that the game makes me do it. Really, honey, I don't need one. Don't strain yourself if you don't need to. Come on now, Misty. Don't tell me you think I'm too old to catch a bug or two. Too old? Brock, you've struggled to catch these things since high school. I trip over one rock one time and you failed to catch Betty's heart, yes. I managed to get yours, though, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Me neither. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, hi, Cass. Thank you for hosting the festival, dear. This and the Harvest Festival have always been my favorites. Both are so peaceful. Now, why have none of the young men around here gotten you a firefly yet? Grandma. Cass is busy at the moment. I mean, she is hosting a festival. She has no time for that. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, of course. So sorry, dear. Grandmother, let me get you a firefly. Oh, yes, I'd like that very much, dear. Excuse us, Cass. She still looks so mean. Wait. What did I just... I'm, I hammered the thing. All right, everyone. If you haven't gotten your jars yet, please come over. It looks like the vessel is really finally getting in the way. You better slip out while everyone's looking the other way. No! I wasn't done talking to people and avoiding this. I was avoiding this. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. We just snuck out of here. Do you really want to do that again? Yes! <laughs> I don't want to break into the house. I just want a happy farming life. I have 14k. That. Sell the car. Sell the house. Walk into the void. Um, Donald's a witness. You saw that, right, dude? Hey, you made it. Was that the house? Any trouble sneaking out? No? Well, I'll be damned. Might actually pull this off. No, we're gonna get caught. My life is gonna get ruined, and I'm gonna lose my farm and my savings and go to jail. Because you have persuasiveness. You have the game devs on your side. And that is not fair. I uh, hey, should probably go knock on wood, huh? Yeah. Alright, here we go. What's the worst that can happen, right? No! You're a doctor! You went to med school for years and years and years and you're wasting and ruining and risking all of that on what? Peace of mind? It's a small town. People go missing. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I don't know. We could go missing! That's that's a valid thought. Okay, so I'm um, good news and bad news. Good news. Neither of us know how to break into a house probably because we're not criminals. <laughs> uh well, I wasn't sure about you, Darius. I'm starting to think the doctor thing's a cover. Bad news is that neither of us know how to break into a house probably because we're not criminals. It's a small town. Do they really lock their doors? Two of you quickly, quietly take out your phones. So what would you do a search for? How to break into a house? How to break into a house without crazy people noticing you. How about we have flip phones? They don't... <laughs> how to break into a house and pretend you didn't have to search the internet to figure out how. Wait, wait, wait. How to break into your own house. Less incriminating. Do you guys even have there? Yep, that's what I was saying. Your phone doesn't have any bars either, does it? Damn it, Claude. You put away your useless phones. At least they acknowledged that in the real world, we would all just Google it. 
Okay, no worries, we're good. We're totally good. I mean, we're pretty smart, right? I was a disaster doctor. You lived by yourself in your early 20s, if not longer. A disaster- Oh, he's not saying he was a disaster at being a doctor. He was a doctor during disasters. Between the two of us, we gotta have some street smarts, right? We can figure this out. Or we can go home. My suggestion is we go home. That's not going home. But one look at the house in the morning would incriminate the two of you immediately. If only one of you knew how to pick a lock. Exclamation. What? What is it? So you've seen Panka pick a lock before. Who, the Giles girl? Are you kidding? She'd read us out in a minute. Her brother and Denise are always together. No way. How do you know that she can pick locks anyway? <laughs> you hesitantly explain that you've recently been recruited as her detective sidekick. You're kidding, right? No. No, dude. Look at me. I got looped into your thing. Why wouldn't I get looped into hers? You're not kidding. Okay, even if you two are. Whatever you just explained to me. Do you think it's a good idea to involve anyone from here in town? I mean, we know Randy had to do a thing or two, but he's obviously more in the dark than we are. I know we had Randy do a thing or two. And that's saying something. She did seem pretty independent when she came in for her physical few seasons back. Look, it's, it's your decision, all right? Appreciate your willingness from the moment I suggested it, but I've been calling all the shots since this whole thing started. Yeah. And, you know, just, just to put it down on the record, the game has been willing. I... I have not. I just wanted to live a happy ranch life. Give people gifts. Work my way into their affections. Gradually become a steadfast part of town. Instead, I'm about to break into the house of the dead doctor. Fun times. If one for the extent, we both gotta be contributing, right? So what should we do? Should we go find Panga to have her unlock the front door? Or try your luck breaking through a window? Oh, yes. This gives us options. Get Panga. Just... Let's double down, dudes. Alright, let's do it. I mean, hey, pretty much anything's gonna be better than breaking a window, right? Anyway, I think we better if you go get her alone. It'll be less suspicious. I'll, uh, keep guard in the meantime or something and not do something stupid, alright? At least, like, sit and look and pretend you're watching the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry back. Oh, joy. Oh, my God. We're gonna pretend that we weren't part of the void. Because that was scary. Trying to just get the... I'm not liking the fact that we end up... Can I just walk? You don't need to go in here at the moment. Mm -hmm. What if I wanted to go in there at the moment? Okay, let's find Panka. Thieves in the night achieved. Fun times. There's those two and that and that. Jessica! My friend? I just hit her with a hammer! I just hit her with a hammer. Her chimmy even twitched. Hey, you're out pretty late, huh? Uh, but I talk to them and they go home. Mm, Pinka? Cast! Yay! Nice party you have here. Real chill. My style, my style. No mystery, but in the shows it always builds up to one. I can't complain. You need something? I have a case, I think. How do you feel about breaking into a house? Well, here's the thing. Uh, we gotta make sure to try to phrase it as her way. You explained that you wanted to pick a love a log at a house. So you're saying you want the two of us to break into somebody's place? Why in the world didn't you say so? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, Panga, don't ever change, but maybe get a little bit sneakier? Panka somehow manages to drag you out of the festival without anyone noticing? Two of you head to Dr. Hayes' house. Go, Panka, you have the sneaky skills. We are in the house, and that is a deer head. Why? That was actually pretty impressive there, Panka. Where'd you learn to do that? Beta guy at school to teach me. <gasps> the school is real. School confirmed. Also, I prefer if you dress me as detective from the, this point on. We're kind of in the middle of a job here. Why aren't we a barrel full of laughs? Yeah, Darius. 
You're fantastically funny. This has something to do with the two with you two asking around about the doctor, right? Panka, do you know anything about this? No, not really, okay? I've never told anything, alright? They think I'm some stupid kid. What do they know anyway? But you do agree they're hiding something. Eh? Exclamation point. It's ten already? Seriously? Ah, man, I gotta get back. Right. The thing about a detective is, uh, they have curfews. Kid detectives have curfews. Just ask Conan. Yeah, I'm sure that's the only reason. Shut up. Okay, controller, I'm counting on you to thorough I'm counting on you to do a thorough sweep of the place. Note any evidence, take pictures if you can, make sure this newbie here doesn't mess anything up. Aye aye. And seriously, don't get caught. That's the last thing I need. Later. Exclamation points. Oh, Oh, by the way, I'm not going to rat you guys out or anything. We'll see you that you help us break in. Unless Mrs. Underhill hires me to spy on you two. Then I'll tell her everything. Wow, thanks. Later. Oh, my God, Panka. I liked you. That's who you help play detective? Really? All right, let's do this. No, you wonder who I really help play detective? You. It's a creepy. It seems that no one took the time to clean the ashes out of her fireplace. Huh? Seems like there's unburnt scraps of paper in the ashes. Seriously, I just wanted something witty about the deer head and there's legit... Well, okay. Was someone maybe into... Okay, details about fireplace ashes was added to your notebook. Okay, okay, okay. Surprising number of books. Nothing seems to stick out. Nothing seems to stick out. Even though it's only been covered above, this white sheet has enough dust on it. If you looked at it from afar, it would look like it was actually gray. Pat it down to make sure nothing else is covered up. Eh? Doesn't seem like it. Ba ba bum bum ba bum ba bum ba. What? Found a small key. It seems to belong to a door of some kind. Small key. Woot. Gotta tap down everything. Find and make sure we got it all. Nothing, just books. Well, yeah. You didn't just break in here just for the hell of it, after all. I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to check all the bookcases. I mean, I had to check out all the, the different couches. Yes. Okay. I'm not trying to leave. Okay, let's just break her. The counters are caked in dust. Caked in dust. Caked in dust. Probably gonna want to leave that alone. <laughs> Faint, but punt. Something's different. The cloth on this table. This cloth seems like it was fluffed just recently. What? Everything else in the house is blah blah blah. Beats about the table were added to your notebook. That's good, because we might need to read it, because the thing stopped. Can't think of anything else down there that I could do. Even more books in here. Did she really have time to read all of these? Huh? Unlike the books in the living room, these all seem to be about the same topic. Half the books seem about myths and legends, while the others are sorted squarely into advanced biology. It almost seems like a joke that she plays the two topics together. Hmm. But why would she keep these ones upstairs near her desk? Dun, dun, dun. No. House? Door? We didn't find the thing with the key. Are you kidding me? I didn't even touch most of the friggin' top floor. This game. Pretty much turned over the place. That's why I'm gonna see something real obvious. Probably way too late in the game for anything like that. Should have known better. Anyway, we're obviously gonna have some overlaps. Maybe both of us saw something the other didn't. See, see anything out of the ordinary? The white sheet covering the table. Ashes in the fireplace, the books on the bookcases upstairs. So yeah, I took a look. But yeah, the ones upstairs, books on myth and advanced biology, right? Strange topics to keep together, especially when everything else out here seems to group to general topic. I doubt it's a clue or anything, but man, Ken and the few others weren't kidding when they said Dr. Hayes was a bit eccentric, huh? Dude, you, you're a doctor who recruited a farmer into breaking into the old doctor's house. You kind of get the eccentric title, too. Let's make note of it in case it somehow ends up mattering later. What else? Ashes in the fireplace. Yeah, I noticed no one even bothered to clean out a fireplace. What about it? 
Charred scraps of paper. What, like newspaper or something? Stuff with handwriting on it? Really? Interesting. Of course, we can't determine whether they were burned before or after her death. But if she did it herself, she could have been trying to hide something. And if someone else did, did, someone else did it, they were definitely trying to hide something. I mean, who burns a bunch of handwritten papers when they could have just been thrown away? Not anyone I know, for sure, that's for sure. Not that it helps us all that much anyway. No matter what we do, we won't be able to read them. They really did think of everything. Maybe with another stupid house we can find what they, they belong to. That might be a good start. What else did you find? The white sheet covering the table. That was the first thing I noticed, actually. Thing is, you'd think I'd be worried about the fact that someone's been in here recently or either took something or cleaned something, which I am. But why in the world would they fan out only the table sheet? There's enough dust on the thing for you to know it hasn't been touched in a while, so it's not like someone's been here in, like, the last week or something. And if they really had to get rid of something that obvious, wouldn't they have done it before, you know, the police came in here? And even if we want to pretend that Rosalind or someone paid off the police on top of everything else, which would be ridiculous, you're being awful loud when we're trying to be sneaky. You don't just leave evidence that someone you didn't pay off would find later. I hate to give her props that if she's the center of this whole thing like it appears, she's not that stupid. Makes no sense. Or, you know, someone could come, come in here at a later time to go through her stuff, meaning we're barking up the wrong tree. Well, if they did, they sure left a bunch of stuff. So this might not be a clue, but even if it is, it's pretty much nothing to go on. What else you got? Take out the key that you found on Dr. Hayes' bed. Found it on the chair. Did they make, like, a design, design decision somewhere that they didn't realize? What's that, a key? Right, her bedroom was locked. Come on, we'll go look in there together. Well, I mean, yay. The two of you head upstairs after some finagling. Oh, they used one of my favorite words. You're able to get the bedroom door open. And you find a skeleton. Dun, dun, dun. Exclamation point. You received what seems to be Dr. Hayes' diary. You make note of it in your key items. Sweetness. Here, can I see it? Hell no. Let's see here. Flipping through the beginnings of the book. Yes, it's her diary. Cass, we hit the jackpot. You are a crackpot, is what you are. Uh, did Dr. Hayes please forgive us for invading your privacy with this much excitement? And thank you so much for caring about that privacy to lock this damn up. Caring enough about that privacy to lock this damn thing up. The last 50 or, the last 50 or so pages are gone. You look at the diary of Darius. Well... I bet that's what's in the fireplace! While a good amount of the diary remains intact, the last bit looks as though it's ripped out of the bite and spiding in a hurry. Let me see what the last entry is written. Fall 15th? Over three years ago? There's no way she managed to write three years of entries on the last 50 or so pages. I mean, look how detailed these entries are. There should be another diary, but why is this one locked up and the newer one not? Do you think someone may have burned the new one along with the pages from this one? But that doesn't make any sense. Why burn one whole book and a few pages instead of just burning everything? Why lock this one back up for someone to find? Wait. Cass, you said that some of the ashes still had handwriting on them, right? If that's the case, there's no way they burned another diary. They didn't even have fire... They didn't even give the fire enough time to burn the papers all the way. It couldn't have been burnt, turned an entire book to ashes. That means her other diary must be somewhere. Yay! Or was destroyed some other way. Boo! Either way, someone obviously didn't want anyone finding it, perhaps even Dr. Arceus herself. Your entry on the fireplace ashes was amended. Maybe we should take another look around and see maybe it's hiding the bookshelves or something. You hear voices outside. Crap! The festival's letting out. We got you back get you back to the farm before Denise notices you left. Just when we started to get somewhere, too. I'll take the diary for now, alright? I'm gonna give it a look over to see if anybody see if maybe someone Miss something that can be of some use. I'll give you a call about it tomorrow, alright? Now come on, we gotta get out there before Edward potentially starts grilling Panko on where she's been. Are we gonna get away with this? That'd be nice. The two of you managed to sneak out of Dr. Hayes' house while no one is around. You go say you say goodnight to each other and you rush back to the farm. After helping Denise pack up, you finally get to bed. What a day. Are you going to launch me straight into some more plot? I'd like to end the episode. Are you going to let me save? Yes. Okay, that's going to mark the end of my turn. Let me just cast the controller on back to you, and I'll be passing along again soon. Bye-bye, guys, and thanks for watching.